So you've often heard me say, everything is serving you. And so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how judgment can actually help you heal. So sometimes in my coaching program, I get asked, how can I tell the ego to basically be quiet and shut up? And I wanted to take this moment to say that everything is serving you, including your ego, when you use it as a catalyst for your own growth process. So one thing that ego is really good at doing is judging others, right? Um, and so that's the topic of the video for today. So when you're judging others, what you want to recognize is what you're criticizing in others is indicative of what you are criticizing in yourself. So you can tell if someone is really self-critical, they're usually very critical of others. And so when you start to see judgment as sort of this window that gives you insight into the parts of yourself that you are judging, the parts of yourself that are still unhealed, then you're able to use judgment as a tool for your own healing process. So a simple practice that I would recommend maybe you try is just go throughout your normal day paying attention to how you judge others, recognizing that this is a direct reflection of how you judge yourself. So these are the aspects of your being that you have not accepted yet. They may be shadow aspects or disowned aspects of yourself, but they're parts of your being that you are not um, that you may be ashamed of or you may not even want to admit, um, but there are parts of yourself that have gone, that are going unaccepted. And so what's happening is you're continuing to attract people in your experience that are reflecting back to you where you still need to heal, which is why you're seeing the things in your experience and you're criticizing those certain things is because it's a direct mirror that could be used for your own growth process should you decide to look at it that way. And so what does this mean? This means that as you start to accept yourself and as you start to love yourself and as you start to heal these disowned aspects of yourself or these places, these shadow aspects of yourself that you are trying to avoid, even though the universe keeps popping up things in your experience that are really easy for you to notice so that way you can see where you are criticizing and judging so you can turn the mirror back on yourself. When you are able to come full circle and really start to love yourself and accept yourself and heal these aspects of yourself, guess what happens? People in your experience shift and start to pop into your experience that will reflect back that new reality to you. So as you become more loving for yourself, then other people are gonna to start to pop up into your experience to reflect back that love, to reflect back that wholeness and that completeness. But and as long as you're still rejecting, basically, certain parts of yourself, the best you're going to be able to attract in your experience is other people that are also likely rejecting those same aspects in themselves. So this is just, this is, judgment is something that if you decide to use it for your own growth process, can help you heal. This is an aspect of the ego. The ego loves to judge, to criticize, to play the blame game, to numb out, to you know fight against or resist what uh, changes are coming about. But when you can learn to use this ego tendency, um, then for your own growth process, you're going to be able to make quantum leaps in what you are manifesting for yourself. And so the whole point of coming here is to evolve your soul. When your intention is soul growth and you start to look for those things in your reality to reflect back to you where it is you need to truly heal and grow, the universe is going to open doors and roll out the red carpet for you, giving you all the signs, all the synchronicities, all the aha moments, all the perfect ti divine timings, and everyone that you need in order to help wake you up to the fact that you are this multidimensional being and that you have the ability to heal yourself and transcend. So what's happening right now on the planet, people are waking up and they are, they are opening up 
core woundings that they've been holding on to for possibly lifetimes, but probably at least since their childhood in this lifetime, but it's probably been multiple lifetimes, opening up to this these karmic wounds that need to be healed, these inner child woundings that need to be healed so that they can evolve and grow. So if this is resonating with you and you like this kind of information or you have a question or comment for me, please feel free to leave it uh, either above or below this video, depending on where you're watching this. Um, feel free to direct message me if you're on Facebook or Instagram, and I will talk to you soon. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.